Chris and Dottie Smith were down to their last six dollars. Chris's hours at the factory were cut due to the bad economy. And Dottie couldn't work because she has lupus. They didn't know how they were going to pay their rent or buy food for their four children. We've never had to ask for help. We've always been able to give our kids everything that they needed. We fixed the last meal we had and didn't know, you know, we didn't know where we were going to turn. You know, I just lay in bed at night and worry, how are we going to feed our family the next day? In spite of her health challenges, Dottie works hard to keep things going at home, often waking up at 5 a.m. to hang laundry before getting the kids ready for school. I pray to the Lord every morning and every night, and I know that He's not gonna let my kids go without. God answered Dottie's prayers when a friend told her about Operation Blessing Partner Christian Faith Ministry, which is led by Pastor Paul Fike in Sparta, Tennessee. Right in this particular area right now, there is great need, and the food that we receive from Operation Blessing comes in and goes directly to them. It changes their lives, and in fact, in some situations, it is the substance of their lives. Every weekend, more than 200 families pick up fresh produce, juices, canned vegetables, and other essentials. It makes you feel good to know that uh, there's people out there that will try to still help you out. Chris hopes to get his hours at the factory back soon. Right now, because of Operation Blessing's help with food, the Smiths are able to pay their bills and make ends meet. If it wasn't for everybody helping out, families like mine would not make it. When I found out about Christian Faith and Operation Blessing, I was very thankful for it. My kids have, have had a lot of nights that they wouldn't have eaten if it wasn't for them. Chris Hawker was good at his job fabricating granite countertops. Things were going well until the local economy took a hit. When people stopped building and renovating, they stopped buying countertops, and Chris lost his job. When he got the news that he was being let go, he was heartbroken. We didn't know how he was going to make it. Being used to having, you know, enough income to pay the bills, provide food, diapers, and everything for the baby. I'm um, recently losing a full-time job. I mean, it's been a struggle. Chris worked a part-time job at night, taking care of mentally challenged adults. He enjoyed helping people, but the hours just weren't enough to make ends meet. Things happen. We just have to cope with it, adjust to it, and drive on. They sold things from around the house on the internet to help them get by while Chris looked for more work. One month when they didn't have enough money for food, Chris even sold his wedding ring. It's not been easy since he's lost his full-time job. We've struggled a great deal. Chris and Rachel turned to their church for prayer and support. Through the church, Chris learned about Operation Blessing Partner New Beginnings Outreach. I was always one to try to go donate. Never thought I would be one that would be on the other end of it needing the help. But I mean, it's definitely been a blessing to me and my family that when we did need it, it was there. New Beginnings, led by Pastor Michael Allen, provides food to more than 100 local families every month. We just want to show people the real compassion of God's love. The Operation Blessing helps us present to them, and not just a number, you're a person. People care about you. God loves you, and there's a difference He can make in your life. Thanks to the help of Operation Blessing, Chris is now able to put food on the table for his wife and baby and pay all the bills while he continues to search for full-time work. The food that we receive from Operation Blessing, it has been tremendous. You wake up in the morning wondering how you're going to provide for your family. What brought tears to my eyes to think, in the desperation I'm in, here's this little ray of sunshine. Flissy Allen is a single mom who loves her daughter Lainey very much. But six years ago, she had no idea how she'd care for a newborn, and she fell into a deep depression. I felt very alone. I think I just lost it. I, I wasn't sure where to go. That all changed when her uncle talked to her about Jesus, the Bible, and salvation. She prayed and gave her life to Christ. Jesus really started talking to me. I didn't even know God was real, and now all of a sudden I opened this Bible, and it's like the questions that I had for my whole life were being answered. Flissy felt a calling to work in ministry. 
She moved to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where she attended the Healing Place School of Ministry. It was difficult to make ends meet while working and going to school. It's a struggle with one income, you know, and to provide for a little girl that sometimes you can't even afford a loaf of bread. Flissy trusted God to provide for their needs and found help through the church. Operation Blessing partners with Healing Place. Pastor Terry Franks leads the Outreach Center. It's all about reaching the one for God. If one matters to God, then that one matters to us. And so we believe that Operation Blessing and our partnerships, it can go so far because what it does is it opens that door to where you can share the gospel with them. When your cabinets get bare, sometimes you don't know where your next meal is gonna come from. And then you walk in and here's this bag full of groceries. It's like the biggest relief you can imagine. Flissy graduated from the ministry program. Today, she works full time for a nonprofit that ministers to single moms. I have so much joy and I just can't wait to wake up and see how God's gonna use me and change people's lives. With the help of Operation Blessing, Flissy and her daughter kept from going hungry, grew closer to God, and are now able to give back by helping others. Thank you so much for putting food on my table or feeding my daughter when I couldn't. You know, I mean, it makes a huge difference. It's a relief to me as a mom, as a single mom, just to be able to get through that month until my next paycheck.